Classical music through the ages. A journey of innovation. Good morning everyone. Today we'll embark on a fascinating journey through the history of classical music. Classical music spanning centuries boasts a rich tapestry of styles and innovations that continue to resonate with audiences today. Let's begin in the medieval and renaissance periods, where music served a primarily religious function. Gregorian chants, characterized by their monophonic nature and focus on spiritual texts, dominated this era. However, the seeds of change were sown with the development of polyphony, the layering of multiple melodic lines, which gave rise to the grandeur of Baroque music. Think of the iconic works of Johann Sebastian Bach and George Frederick Handel, known for their intricate counterpoint, complex harmonies, and emphasis on virtuosity. The Baroque period also witnessed the rise of the orchestra, a new ensemble that allowed composers to explore richer textures and dynamics. The classical period, spearheaded by composers like Mozart, Haydn, and Beethoven, ushered in a new era of clarity, balance, and proportion. Their compositions emphasized melody, clear structure, and a focus on form. This period saw the development of the symphony, a multi-movement orchestral work that became a cornerstone of classical music. Romanticism, the following era, defied the rigid structures of the classical period. Romantic composers like Chopin, Tchaikovsky, and Liszt placed greater emphasis on emotion, individualism, and programmatic elements music that tells a story or evokes a particular feeling. The 20th century witnessed a revolution in classical music. Composers like Stravinsky, Schoenberg, and Cage challenged traditional tonality and experimented with new forms of expression, including atonality, serialism, and minimalism. These innovations pushed the boundaries of what classical music could be. Today, classical music continues to evolve. Contemporary composers draw inspiration from various traditions, creating a rich and diverse soundscape. We see the influence of jazz, world music, and electronic elements finding their way into new classical compositions. Classical music's enduring appeal lies in its ability to evoke a wide range of emotions, tell stories without words, and transport us to different times and places. By understanding its history, we gain a deeper appreciation for this magnificent art form and its lasting impact on our culture. A Chance Encounter, Unveiling Uranus, the Seventh Planet. Greetings, everyone. Today, we delve into the captivating story of Uranus, the solar system's seventh planet. Unlike its more prominent brethren, Uranus's discovery wasn't the result of meticulous planning but a fortuitous observation. Step back to 1781 and meet William Herschel, a German-born astronomer residing in England. Herschel, not formally trained but fueled by a passion for celestial objects, was a skilled telescope maker. On a crisp March night, while systematically scanning the sky with his newly built telescope, Herschel stumbled upon a curious sight, a faint, greenish disk that stubbornly refused to move like the surrounding stars. Intrigued, Herschel meticulously documented his observations. Initially, he mistook Uranus for a comet. However, subsequent observations by himself and other astronomers revealed its unique orbital path, definitively marking it as a new planet. This discovery had profound implications. It shattered the long-held belief that our solar system ended at Saturn and doubled the known boundaries of our cosmic neighborhood. Uranus's discovery also sparked a debate about its nomenclature. Initially proposed as Georgium Sidus in honor of King George III, the name ultimately fell out of favor. Today, we recognize it by Uranus, the Greek god of the sky, a fitting name for this celestial giant. Interestingly, there's compelling evidence suggesting others may have unknowingly glimpsed Uranus before Herschel. Early astronomical records hint at possible observations, but the technology and understanding of our solar system at the time weren't sufficient to recognize it as a planet. The discovery of Uranus stands as a testament to human curiosity and the power of technological advancements. It transformed our understanding of the solar system, igniting a thirst for further exploration and prompting us to question what other wonders might lie hidden in the vast expanse of space. Beneath the Waves Unveiling the Complex Social Lives of Whales Good morning, everyone. Today, we dive deep into the fascinating realm of whale culture. Whales, these majestic giants of the ocean, have long captured our imagination. 
But beyond their impressive size and intelligence lies a complex social world that scientists are only beginning to understand. Unlike what we might expect, whale societies are not random groupings. Whales, particularly certain species, form strong social bonds and live in close-knit communities called pods. These pods, often consisting of females, their calves, and sometimes even adult males, exhibit remarkable cultural behaviors. One of the most striking examples of whale culture is seen in the unique vocalizations of humpback whales. Their complex songs, a series of haunting calls and whistles, are not static. These songs evolve over time, with new phrases and variations being incorporated, much like human cultural trends. This suggests a form of social learning, where young whales learn the songs from older members of the pod. Another fascinating aspect of whale culture is seen in the hunting techniques of killer whales, also known as orcas. Different pods specialize in different prey and have developed unique strategies for hunting. For instance, some pods target salmon, using complex communication and coordinated maneuvers to herd the fish into a tight cluster for a successful catch. This knowledge is passed down through generations, highlighting a cultural transmission of hunting skills. Cultural behaviors are not limited to communication and hunting. Beluga whales, for example, have been observed using tools. They blow bubbles to stun fish, making them easier to catch. This learned behavior demonstrates a level of problem-solving and ingenuity that adds another layer to their cultural repertoire. The study of whale culture is a relatively new field, but the evidence is undeniable. Whales exhibit complex social behaviors, transmit knowledge across generations, and even adapt their behaviors based on their environment. This cultural dimension adds a whole new perspective to our understanding of these magnificent creatures. As we continue to unravel the secrets of whale culture, we gain a deeper appreciation for their intelligence and social complexity. They remind us that the ocean holds a wealth of knowledge waiting to be discovered challenging us to rethink the boundaries of what it means to have a culture. Jungle Echoes, the return of monkey life. Good morning, everyone. Today, we explore a heartening trend, the resurgence of monkey populations in areas previously impacted by human activity. Monkeys, with their intelligence, playful nature, and ecological significance, are vital members of many ecosystems. However, Habitat loss and hunting have threatened their survival in recent decades. Thankfully, recent conservation efforts are witnessing a remarkable phenomenon, the return of monkey life. Let's delve into some success stories. In Costa Rica, for example, the creation of wildlife corridors has allowed monkeys to safely navigate between fragmented forests. These corridors, strips of protected land connecting previously isolated habitats, have enabled monkeys to expand their range and find new sources of food and shelter. This has led to a rise in monkey populations, promoting a healthier overall ecosystem. Another strategy driving the return of monkey life involves fostering human-wildlife coexistence. In some regions, shade-grown crops like coffee are being cultivated under a canopy of tall trees. This not only benefits the crops but also creates a suitable habitat for monkeys. Farmers who tolerate or even encourage monkey presence report minimal crop damage, and the monkeys themselves act as natural pest control agents, contributing to a more sustainable agricultural system. The return of monkey life isn't just about population numbers. It signifies the restoration of ecological balance. Monkeys play a crucial role in seed dispersal, ensuring the regeneration of forests. Their presence also attracts predators, which in turn helps regulate populations of herbivores and maintain a healthy balance within the ecosystem. Of course, challenges remain. Habitat loss continues to be a major threat, and illegal hunting persists. However, the success stories offer a beacon of hope. By implementing habitat restoration projects, promoting sustainable land use practices, and fostering community involvement, we can create a future where monkeys once again thrive in vibrant and healthy ecosystems. The return of monkey life serves as a powerful reminder of nature's resilience. It demonstrates that with focused conservation efforts and a shift in human behavior, we can create a world where humans and wildlife can coexist in harmony. A planet in peril. Understanding global warming. Good morning, everyone. Today, we confront a pressing issue 
global warming, the long-term heating of Earth's climate system. This phenomenon, primarily driven by human activities, poses a significant threat to our planet and its inhabitants. Let's delve into the science behind global warming. The Earth's atmosphere naturally contains gases that trap heat, creating a greenhouse effect essential for maintaining a habitable temperature. However, human activities like burning fossil fuels release excess greenhouse gases, primarily carbon dioxide, into the atmosphere. This disrupts the natural balance, causing the planet to trap more heat than it radiates, leading to a gradual rise in global temperatures. The consequences of global warming are far-reaching. We are already witnessing rising sea levels due to melting glaciers and thermal expansion of oceans. This threatens coastal communities and ecosystems. Additionally, global warming disrupts weather patterns, leading to more extreme weather events like heat waves, droughts, floods, and intense storms. These events cause widespread devastation, impacting agriculture, infrastructure, and human health. The good news is that we can still mitigate the effects of global warming. Transitioning to renewable energy sources like solar and wind power can significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Additionally, implementing sustainable practices like reducing deforestation and adopting energy-efficient technologies can further contribute to the solution. Individual choices also play a role. Opting for public transport, conserving energy at home, and reducing our consumption of meat can all contribute to a smaller carbon footprint. Global warming is a complex challenge, but it is not insurmountable. By working together, governments, businesses, and individuals can implement effective solutions. The time for action is now. By transitioning to a sustainable future, we can safeguard our planet for generations to come. Let's remember, global warming isn't just an environmental issue, it's a social and economic one as well. The consequences will be felt by all, and addressing it requires a global effort. By understanding the science, acknowledging the urgency, and actively participating in solutions, we can create a positive change for our planet.